What is up everybody? As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I always love to look around on the internet to try and find inspiration for my own desk setup, whether that be items that make me more productive, more creative. And when I finally got my first apartment, I had this whole empty room to make my own home office and I was very, very excited. I started out by measuring the whole room and I made plans in uh, Figma. My girlfriend who works in interior design kind of laughed at these plans, but they did the job for me. And I was really excited to start gathering inspiration for a real project. And hopefully this video can inspire you just like the videos that I saw when I was trying to gather up items for here. I'm gonna go over, of course, the whole desk, the tech that I use every day, but also the items that really make this space unique and it really makes it my own space. Uh, whether that be like the plans, the posters that I made myself, for example. So I hope you can gather some tips and inspiration to make your own place a place that can make you more creative and productive. As always, the links to everything will be in the description as well as discount codes. When I was planning the office in Figma, the first thing that I placed was of course the desk since it was going to be the centerpiece for this whole office. And this specific desk is a standing desk made by a company called Fully. It is very, very good. The quality is great. The main thing that I would say to look out for if you're buying your own standing desk is that when it's all the way up, it doesn't wobble. You'll see some of the more budget options do have that. And uh, well, it means that if you have expensive items on there, they might fall. It's not the case for this one. And I really love the way that it looks. It is 60 by 27 inches and it has the walnut top with the black uh, legs. And I did go with the option that can go all the way, uh, well, the highest of all the options. However, I don't really use the highest settings ever. I'm actually not as tall as I, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be. And I wasn't sure in the beginning if I was gonna use the standing feature. However, I ended up using it for about half of the day, sometimes even more. Whenever I feel like my energy is a bit low, uh, counterintuitively, instead of sitting on my chair, I like to set my desk uh, all the way up and work when I'm standing up. And lastly is when I have meetings. I really like to walk around when I'm thinking. So if I have a meeting, I'm able to stand up and move around a little bit. It can be distracting for the people in the meeting, but it really helps me to think. And I haven't had anybody complain so far, so it's something I'm gonna continue to do. Another thing I really like to do when I'm having a bit of a harder time uh, staying focused is to leave my phone outside of the office, even though I do have a nice phone uh, stand charging area on the desk shelf itself. I end up just leaving my phone outside and using a physical timer and I set a timer for something like 90 minutes where I'll be absolutely focused uh, without zero, zero distractions since my phone is not even in the room. And then once that timer is done, I'll go for like a quick rock, walk around the apartment or I'll do cleaning or whatever just to get my mind off of things and then I come back, do the same thing, rinse and repeat throughout the day and it really helps me stay locked in. A recent add-on is something I've been looking for for a while and it is a desk shelf. I really think having a desk shelf real, well elevates your setup in a literal way, but also in an aesthetic way. It really brings the whole setup together. And the one that I have currently is made by Wood Cesaris. They did send this over uh, on Instagram, but I ended up just loving it. And also it's a lot cheaper than other alternatives while still being in that premium category. Another cool thing to note about this company is that whenever you do a purchase with them, they also plant a tree. So it means that you are giving uh, back to the planet, which I think is something really cool. The only complaint that I would have with the desk shelf is that while it said that it was walnut, I feel like it's a bit uh, darker than what we're used to see with walnut, where it's a bit more light and orange. And however, that might fit your setup very well. I think it still looks great on my personal setup. I did go with the dual monitor shelf, even though I'm only using one monitor, but I wanted to have the widest one so we could put plants on there, which I think brings in some life to the desk. I also went with the secondary shelf option where I can put my Mac in there if I'm really trying to focus and I don't want to have that secondary screen where I usually have distractions anyways. I think the main reason to get a desk shelf isn't the organization that it adds, but mainly because it rises your monitor just a little bit, which means it will be more ergonomic, it will be at eye level, which is what you are looking for. While I haven't changed my monitor uh, ever since I got it, I cannot say that it is for everybody. First of all, it's not 4K, it is just a HD monitor, but it really does the job if you're looking for a more budget option that still has a lot of real estate being at 32 inches. A few of the little problems that I've had with it was there, there were a few dead pixels, I think I have like two over the whole uh, monitor, so it's not a big deal, but the color accuracy is really good for the price. So it's still one that I would recommend if you're a bit more on a budget. I bought that one when I was studying design. On the left, I have an old uh, Amazon lamp that I got used actually quite some time ago. And there's nothing really special to say about this one. However, I do have a smart light bulb in there, which means I can get the perfect vibe uh, throughout the day. I like to have a brighter, more cool tone during the day and in the evening, a more warm and well, less bright tone. And another thing that can really bring your desk setup together is a good desk mat. 
And the one I got is from Grovemade and is their uh, wolf felt desk mat. There are a few things that I really like about this one. The first thing is the material itself. Being that it is a wool felt uh, desk mat, your mouse glides on it very, very well. A lot more than it would on, let's say, like a leather pad, for example. So a lot of the creators that I follow are even using two desk mats. They'll have a leather one and then this smaller one on top. That was the idea that I had in mind when I ordered this one. So I got the smaller version, well, the medium size actually. And I kind of regret that decision. I wish I would have gone with the wider one. And you'll see why in a second. However, I have to say, I still really love the way that it looks. The other thing that I quite like is the small little leather tab with the Chrome Made logo. I think it's a nice little touch and the color also fits my desk setup perfectly well. The reason I say I wish I would have went with the larger model is because I was using the MX Master uh, setup. So I had the MX Master 3 as well as the MX Master keys and I had the full MX Master keys, which was a bit too large for this mat. So if you're rocking a full uh, keyboard, definitely go with the larger model, not the medium one. It'll be a bit too small. You won't have as much space for your mouse. However, I recently wanted to look into having a mechanical keyboard and wanted to see what it was all about. And I decided to go with the low free flow. At the time when I purchased it, it was still on Kickstarter, but I really fell in love with the design. And it was also a low profile mechanical keyboard, which I think was the perfect bridge from going with a super slim keyboard into the mechanical world. And there's really nothing bad I can say about this one. I will be doing a full uh, review of it when I've been using it for something like a month. So I'll link the video once it's released. While the main reason why I purchased this one specifically was the looks, I think it has a really, really unique look. I also really love the sound of this keyboard and just listen to it. I have to say it did take me a bit of time to get used to that mechanical feeling. So overall, I think Lofi did a very, very good job on this one. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram are really, really loving this keyboard. So if it's something you're looking into, definitely, I would say go buy it. It's really worth the money. And for the mouse, I'm still rocking the MX Master 3, not the S. I'm still rocking the older one. I really use the thumb wheel quite a lot. I wasn't sure at the beginning, but I end up using it all day long, especially when I'm working on large Figma files, when I'm designing user flows or interfaces. And also when I'm scrolling through timelines, when I'm making uh, larger YouTube videos, even on Instagram videos, the short ones, I'll still use the thumbnail quite a lot just to scroll through the timeline. Another thing that's really cool about the MX Master 3 is that you can map the buttons to do kind of whatever you want. So uh, for example, I use the small thumb buttons uh, differently on different apps for something like Photoshop. It might be tools that I use more often. You can really customize it to do anything that you want. Another tech item I've been using more and more is my iPad. Surprisingly, I used to take a lot of notes in notepads. However, they just, you know, stack up. You end up having a lot and I end up having to look through those for notes. It's not really uh, the best uh, system. And ever since I started to use my iPad as well as Apple Notes together, well, I've been getting a lot, lot, lot more usage out of this iPad and I end up just carrying it around with me all the time. And when it is not in my bag, it is on this Pitaka uh, tablet holder. I think it looks very good on this new uh, shelving unit that I got. By the way, if you love my wallpapers, they are wallpapers that I made myself, so you can go buy them if you want to support the channel. I would really appreciate the support. For the whole shelving area, I was really inspired by a content creator called Mattia Delizio. I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right, but I'll leave a link to his Instagram. You should go see it. It's really, really awesome. I think he has the exact same shelves from Ikea, which I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. I really can't. But he used those shelves to add a bunch of plants and I thought it looked very cool in his office. It brought a ton of uh, life and light into the space. And I wanted to do the same thing with mine. So I also added a bunch of plants over there. And I also used the Scadis pegboard to create a nice backdrop over there where I can put stuff like magazines and it, honestly, it just looks good. I don't really use it that much function wise, but I think it looks really nice. And when I was saying in the beginning that would show you what makes my space unique, I think this whole area is really one that does that. The reason for that is because I have a bunch of stuff that I gather from different places, whether that be books and things that interest me, such as uh, cars, design, architecture, all of that, as well as all the plants. For my plants, I was lucky enough to work with a company called Kenzo Designs, and they sent a bunch of their planters over. And all of their planters are made from recycled materials, whether that be from uh, bamboo, recycled wheat husk, as well as coffee husks. And they look very, very good. I think you're also supporting a really good cause. I believe just reading their about section on their website is worth your time, even if you're not going to buy anything. They have a great story. And the last thing that makes my office my own, and it's something that no one really has so far, is that they are my own posters that I printed out. 
There are pictures that I took at a car show and I really, really love them. And they are gonna be on my, on my store. However, they're not at the moment just because I'm trying to figure out what company I wanna work with. That's it for today. I hope you are able to gather some inspiration and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.